Hi guys, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, how, are how are you? Good, and you? How are you? Tired. <laughs> but Saturday. finally I'm in my house, so yes, because okay. today I I went to the ingenio. Okay. So I I've been at the how do you say in la planta? Okay, in the plant. It's the same in way. In the plant, okay. In the plant, so it was very um, hot in there. Yeah. Must imagine. And yes. So I I feel very tired right now, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> do they work with boilers like the calderas? Do they work with yes. boilers yes. or cauldrons? Yes, or boilers, tachos, and trifugas. Yes. Oh, okay. Everything because we are uh, in Safra right now, but maybe I think maybe on Friday, the other Friday, we finish Safra. What is what is the type of ingenio? Is it sugar? Well, it's actually called milk. Cane, like cane actual of sugar, uh, cane, cane of sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a sugar meal. Yes. Okay. Something like this. Let me see if I can. Mm -hmm. I guess it would be something like. Is it something like this? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is called a meal. So a it could be okay. a meal. Uh -huh. And usually a meal is this. Let me show you. A meal is like the ones we usually know. So if you have seen them in movies or if you have had the opportunity to travel, you have seen those somewhere. Uh, the ones yes. that people think when I was a little girl, I thought they were fans, like big fans for. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. They're actually pros They're actually generating electricity for, for, um, for that purpose. Or if it's coffee, if it's corn, if it's, you know, whatever it is that they're they're processing in that place. So mm -hmm. usually grains, because if you have seen them, they usually are in the rural areas, right? So yes. this is a regular meal, but then if you look at now, this is like the Amish on the Amish side, etc. Uh -huh. But if you actually see them, like, like the like you were saying, like a coffee meal or, or it, well, this is a meal. I actually have one of these, by the way. This one okay. I actually have. It's just an uh -huh. it was one. So this is a meal. It's just the uh -huh. turn that it does. It's yes. the circle. So that's what it's called, a meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Como moledora? Como moledora, yeah. Como moledora. Mm -hmm. But in a bigger context, it's ingenio. Mm -hmm. So the co like yes. in like we were talking about the sugar meal, for example. Mm -hmm. Sugar meal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I guess it's really hot, right? Because of the boilers, because yes. of the calders. Yes. yes, it was very, very hot. And it it's very nice because you, you can smell all the um, the the etapas of the sugar mm -hmm. stages stages of the mm -hmm. sugar okay and and i tasted and it was very nice today nice okay mm -hmm. great wow so yeah. you became a tester yes <laughs> okay great nice yeah. wilbur good evening how are you teacher good evening I am fine. You're great? Thank okay. You. How was your day? Working from home? Yeah. Yes, working remotely. And I have a, a hard day because the 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 heat in my home, my the heat in my home, the calor. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it's been very hot today for you. Uh -huh. Yes, and this is what nice. I was telling you the other day, right? I think that it's because we are so used to at the office having AC mm -hmm. or air conditioning. Yes. So having okay. AC, I mean, during a regular, we have worked in a company for what, seven years, six years, three years, two years. So from Monday through Friday, so spending just weekends, it's like, okay, I can deal with it because I go to the beach or I go out with my family. But now being home, every day with no ac so your body reacts to like oh, i'm hot i'm hot and you're thinking yeah and then you think oh it's because at the office i'm usually <laughs> with your ac right so it's like 
it's just a habit that usually we're under AC yeah. every day. Yeah, it's true. And it has been <laughs> raining too. Yesterday it rained, okay. right? But after that, it becomes really hot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, yes, yesterday night, I know, I know was to connect you. I couldn't to the connect. Conference. Yes, because I, I, I working. I working. Sorry. It's okay. I understand. I know you're very responsible. You're the first one usually to connect. So thank you for always connecting on time. Okay. I, I, I understand. So don't worry. Okay. By the way, guys, don't forget thank to you. enroll in the next module. Okay. That way we can start after Holy Week vacation soon. Okay. So remember your, your comp, you know, your yes. companies and your HR teams to enroll you as soon as possible. That way they can enroll you for intermediate three. Okay, and that way you can actually, we don't lose time. So we don't lose track of, of, of the sessions too. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Today we're gonna be doing something very cool, somehow related to what we were doing yesterday, but in a different way. So yesterday we were talking about personality traits, whether you were humble, whether you were, um, remember what other, what other adjective? If you were humble, uh, if you were family. passionate, very good. Uh huh. And I said that you needed to send me the screenshot of your personality oh, at right. the end, huh? And only I had one response. If I had that student, if we were like in a regular class, that student would have won a attractive you know package of candies a big bag of candies for doing the homework nevertheless okay i had to give props because he was very responsible and he actually turned in his homework like at yes. 11 p.m but he turned it in so so i'm i'm, I'm happy for who, who turned in the homework the rest of you hmm, forgot about it went to bed and just forgot about the list but don't worry so today we're going to be doing something really cool we're going to be talking about the highest jobs and but we're going to be talking about a i don't like working on weekends using using the because clause so for example i'll start and i'll say i don't like working in my case i, I love i like working on weekends but i don't like working on fridays because there's always a lot of traffic, because people are always accelerated that day that they just wanna leave the office, because it's the last day of the week, because, you know, so many reasons. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna say whether I like or I don't like what I'm going to present, and then you're gonna tell me the reason why you like it or you dislike it. For example, like the exercise that we had in 513, uh, which was, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. In my case, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because and then i had a lot of i have a lot of options here but personally i wouldn't like to be a nurse because i'm very bad being 24 7 awake so i usually go to bed early and i usually wake up early so being a nurse requires time so you need to be awake during night times or because sometimes you will have night shifts or day shifts for example so what about you guys if would you like to or wouldn't you like to be a nurse and why? I wouldn't. Why? Because I'm very, how do you say, um, I can see blood. Okay. Is it, is it a yes. phobia? Is it a phobia? No, it's not a phobia, but um, I'm like, a, it, it makes me nauseous. Okay. Yeah. So I cannot stand, I'm gonna write it here. I cannot stand I cannot blood. Stand. Yes. So meaning, I'm not writing anything. Stand blood. It means that you cannot, if you see it, you get nervous, you can't see it, you, you faint, you overreact, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. So you cannot stand it. You cannot I support, can you, yeah, you cannot really yes. deal with it. Yes. Okay. Wilbur, what about you? Imagine you would have to be a nurse for somebody in your family. Would you like to be a nurse or would you not really like to be a nurse and why? Meaning to take, remember, because being a nurse is not necessarily at the hospital, but like if somebody in the family gets sick and you have to take, 
care of that person for a couple of days? Would you be a good nurse or a bad nurse or really don't like to be a nurse or yes? Tell me. Uh, I think I, li I like I like to to make a make a, a nurse um, because it's uh, very. I wouldn't like to be a nurse. Humanitarian. Uh huh. Humanitarian. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. In for to help to to people, no. Uh, in the difficult in the difficult times, no. I think it's a it's a, a a good a good work. Okay, it's a good job. Okay, very good. Nice. That's good. That's good. Um, very young. Okay. Sorry. Very young. Yes. Thank you, Fatima. Would you like or would wouldn't you like to be a nurse and why? Um, I wouldn't. Why? I wouldn't. Um. Because, well, all the things um, that you and Iris say is the same that happened to me because I can stay awake over the 10 p.m. I, I hardly finish the class with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because the 10 p.m. Is, is I have to go to the bed. And uh -huh. because I can stand blood, I can stand with the blood and I can I stand can, only, I can stand blood. Okay. I can stand blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, because when a nurse put you an injection, how do you say it? Okay. There's injection. two. Well, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go over it. It, shots and injections. There's two ah. shots, shots, vaccines, and vaccines. Just, just to make sure. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's shots versus vaccines, and in, I think injections does not exist. Let me find out. I think it's just vaccines versus. Um, Bassins versus <coughs> versus shots. Okay, a bassin. It's the one I was right. A bassin. It's the one you usually get once and no more. Like when you're a kid, or even when you have pets, mm -hmm. the uh, for. Just, they just get it like once in their lifetime or babies, okay? And shots are usually the ones that you get when you go to the hospital and say, the pain is too big that they need to inject you a shot. But a vaccine is just one time only. For example, for this disease, there's going to be one. It's going to be a vaccine, meaning that to protect your body against this through all your entire life. So supposedly it is a cure and it's just a one time only event. So that's a difference. And a shot can be, an insulin can be something that is um, a ibuprofen with, you know, it's a combination of many other drugs. So it's, and it happens usually when you're very sick because, you know, drinking pills are not as effective as having a shot. An mm -hmm. injection. Uh -huh. How do you say if you have to inject someone or no? And, Injection, yes, that's what I was going to say. An uh, injection okay. is this. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it can be the process and it could also be the item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I what can, we call uh, heringa. Uh -huh. Exactly the image that we are seeing, I can stand the, the um, sound of a scheme breaking when. Uh, ah, when it. Uh, uh huh. Uh, the clicking sound. The click. No, no, no. Uh, no, the, I can't. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the difference between once and another. So you have vaccine, which is once in a lifetime, usually. Shots that you have them every time you are really, really, really sick. Ibuprofen, penicillin, etc. And then you have the injection, which is the process or the process or the item they use. 
to inject you because the, the, the verb would be inject. Right, so they inject I, you with an injection. <laughs> like just if, I want, okay. if I want to say, um, me pusieron una inyección, es I they got an injection shot. Okay. No, because injection is already the verb. So remember not to use God. Ah. Try to stay away from God. So God, no, no. So it would be, I was injected with a ah, shot. Yeah, yeah. Or mm -hmm. I had a, I had the yellow fever vaccine. For example, you're traveling to uh, countries where they ask you for this special vaccine, the mm -hmm. yellow fever, la fiebre maria. So you say, oh, I had the yellow fever vaccine and here's my my paper that I actually had it. Or or the chicken pox, varicella, so that is a bastin. So you would say that as a bastin. Or, or um, a, what's the other one? Oh, I forgot. A chicken pox and... Sarampion? Yeah, I was going to say that. Chicken pox versus measles. Measles. Sorry, my dyslexia. Measles. Uh -huh. measles. So measles, it's and Measle. chicken pox is the other one. Chicken, uh -huh. which is yeah, this is chicken pox, and the other one's measles, right? Uh -huh. So then you would say that measles and chicken pox versus wait, what, what happened here? Okay, so you would say chicken pox or measles. That's um, that's a uh, vaccine, and then shots, ibuprofen or any other penicillin or any other one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bea, we're talking about, I would want to be a nurse, yes or no? In your case, Bea, would you like to be a nurse? Yes, because or no, because? I, I don't like a nurse teacher. Why? No, I, 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 <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to inject you. I would the, inject you. The, the blood is very nervous for me. <laughs> okay. Even when you go to the hospital, do you get nervous when you go to the hospital? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Genesis, I don't know if we're going to be able to listen to Genesis. Genesis, are you there? Usually I'm not able to listen to her. Maybe she's connected, but not there. Are you there? <coughs> Hello, Genesis? I cannot listen to you. Hello? Hi, Genesis. Hello. Hi, you. Would you like to be a nurse? Yes or no? Okay, no. Why not? Tell me. Oh. I am I don't like um, blood. Uh -huh, blood. Blood. Oh yeah. I think a lot of us, right? Because I don't like hospitals. Because I don't like blood. Because I don't like shots. Because I'm very nervous. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Hannah. Okay. Next one. Would you like to be a novelist? Yes or no and why? <clears throat> no. I wouldn't because I'm have uh, I don't have imagination. Uh, the lot of imagination that you need to write something interesting for or interesting. or um, um, fantastic all the things no if, if you had to choose instead of being a novelist what would you like to be you would say i would i wouldn't like to be a novelist but i would like to participate in the novel for example or direct or be a secondary actress or so if you wouldn't like to be a, a novelist what would you like to be instead mm. <laughs> Maybe no act. Uh, I'm not so good at it. 
The laugh, the laugh kills me. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> what about the rest? Iris, Bea, what about you girls? Would you like to be novelists? Yes, I would like to be a novelist and an actress too. And an actress. I'm a, okay. Yes, I'm a drama queen, so I think... <laughs> Thank you for being so honest. <laughs> like, I'm a yes, I'm. A, <laughs> I'm very. I, I have a lot of imagination, and yeah, okay. I will write. I I I wrote a novel when I was at high school, mm -hmm. and yeah, it, it was it was very nice. I had a a, a high score. On okay, that. <laughs> you had a very good grade. Uh -huh. Yeah, a very good grade. Yeah. What was the name of your novel? Tell us about it. I don't remember exactly, but it was a, a love story. Okay. It was a love story, but I don't remember exactly the, 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 the name. But it was very, very, very interesting. And I, 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 I wrote poems mm -hmm. too, so it's something that I don't do right now, don't do a lot. Okay. But uh, when I was younger, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, that was something that, that I... You were passionate uh, about. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember even, even if we were not writing novels, I remember that we would have diaries. So it yes. was like, like the story uh -huh. of our lives. We, even yes. with a little lock, like a candadito, right? A little lock. Mm -hmm. so we would like, <laughs> write the story of our lives because when we grew up, we were going to actually write about our lives in a book, uh, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember the little journals. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bea, what about you? Would you like to be a novelist? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I think... Not much, <laughs> not very much. Uh, only in the school, <laughs> but um, yeah, place my my friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Only. Okay, very good. Now, uh, in your case, Wilbur, I'm not gonna ask you if you want to be a novelist, but I'll ask you: Would you like to be an actor? In the novel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, teacher. I like to be a, a novelist uh, because I I love to reading books. No, uh, I love to read when books. I was in the in the high school, I read, for example, the the novels uh, has like. Uh, 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 Elena de Troya, Helen of the Troy, I don't know. Helen okay. de Troy. And for example, the uh, I read in the uh, uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha. No. Ten años de soledad. Only the, the classics. The classic classic ones that we, we would read at, at high school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that everybody went through Don Quixote de la Mancha, right? You're like, oh my God, like 600 pages for tomorrow? No! no. <laughs> the teachers would actually make you read Don Quixote and the yeah. language was so <laughs> difficult to understand and it was a very thick book, no pictures, and you only remember <laughs> Sancho Panza and Don Quixote. And that, was the, well, that was it, right? Yeah, I remember. But before we used to read many novels, do you remember some of the names of the novels you guys would read? When you yeah. were in high school, do you remember? What was your favorite the, novel? The, the Love on the... Ay, Tiempos del Cólera. El Amor en los Tiempos oh, del Cólera. Uh -huh. Love in Times of Cólera, I think it's called. In Times of Cólera. The House of Spirits. Love in Times of Cólera. Yeah, that's how it, it was called. Mm -hmm. There's even a movie of it, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Cien Años There's de enough. Soledad. It's 100 enough. Years of Solitude, I think it's called. I wonder I wonder if you would actually 100 years of solitude I wonder if you would actually read those books again but in English because when we were in high school we, or at school we would read them in Spanish would you like to read them in English 
-hmm. Yes, it will be interesting. Yes, yes. Wilbur said Helen of Troy, I think, right? Wilbur? Oh. But that was a book. Uh, oh, this one. Helen of Troy, mm -hmm. yeah. Margaret yeah. George, for example, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the famous The Prince, I remember we read, I think oh, everybody, right? Yes. Ah, uh, the prince. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. But I mean, the principe. Yes, the principe. It's in uh, Spanish, right? Yes. Uh, it is a, a Nicolas Machiavelli. Written for Nicolas Machiavelli. Mm, mm -hmm. The so, classic. But the Principito también is a classic. No, mm -hmm. el Principito ah, yes. <clears throat> Who's the author? Oh, Jean. Antoine, Antoine de, de la... Okay. I think he's the one, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Didn't have it. Have it here. Well, him. Good him. <clears throat> Which is French, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, French. I remember, but this is not even in, 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 in English. I remember this book so bad. I have no idea. It's a book that I remember... <clears throat> when I started, when I started again in Spanish, because I, my, I have a lot of problems with my reading comprehension in Spanish. I think I have shared this in the past. And I remember my tutor, after the plus one perfecto class, she would tell me, okay, we're going to read a book. And, and, and I remember this was the first book I really understood because I was, I felt very passionate about it. It's a Mexican book. If you ever have the, I have the PDF uh, copy if you were interested, but it's not in English. I looked for it in English and it's not in English. It's Yolanda C. Martinez. And I remember this because of this. Clásicos, Roxil. All the books we read had this, like, this was like a Santiana before, I guess. This Clásicos, Roxil. Everybody would read yeah, that, okay. that. I remember. Right? I remember. This Clásicos, <laughs> Roxil. So yeah, I, yeah. I have the PDF version. I'm going to share with you later on in the class. It's in Spanish, but it's a very good book. I was like... I felt so good in high school because I really understood the book. I was like, oh my God. I, and it happened to me that I had to read sometimes even little articles twice because I wouldn't really understand that concept or like I wouldn't get jokes. And, you know, it was very hard for me to understand. So I, I read this book. It was very short, but I really liked it. So if I have the opportunity, I'm going to share it with you. So if you're a book lover, you're going to like the story. Thank okay. you. Okay, so going back to our questions. Um, ooh, I could never be an accountant because I'm very bad with math and numbers. That's me. Yes. What about you? Me, me too. <laughs> I'm really bad with numbers, with math, even with finances. I need a fisherman class mm -hmm. to be able to not spend a lot of money in chocobananos yeah. and desserts to <laughs> save money. <laughs> and cravings. <laughs> and then my cravings, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Would you be very good accountants or not really good accountants? Tell me. <clears throat> no, I couldn't never. Uh, because I... It's difficult to me... For me? For me to understand the, the T. The T that are, you have the, I don't know, how do you say in English? Debe haber. Eh, <laughs> the, there should the, be? No, no, no. In accounting. <laughs> no, I, okay, let's no, see. You, accounting, you. <laughs> accounting terms. <laughs> yeah. Or basic accounting term. What is it? Yeah. Like? Eh, in Spanish, eh, you say, las T, las T cuando dibujas debes y haber para decir le voy a cargar o le voy a abonar a una cuenta contable. The, the T, T account explained. Okay, yeah. with five examples, this. Okay, let's see in an image. So that is so difficult. The T, this. Yeah, that is so difficult for me because debit, credit, uh, I work in, in my company and I have to to hear the people that say that have problems with the software. And when the problems are, are of counts and, and you say, ah, the, the, I don't know how do you say these terms because it's a tech. <laughs> 
eh, okay. es eh, que te cuadre la partida. Oh. So it's difficult for me because the, the, um, the vertical line T divides the account into left and right sides for recording increases and decreases. So ah, increases yes. and decreases, for example. Because you have the act, the actives, the passives. Uh, wow. Oh, no. So the it's very balance. complex. And like you're saying, sometimes we learn all this in Spanish, but it's very difficult to just translate it to English or to understand it yeah. in another language. For oh. example, now that you bring that up, I will give you a very clear example. Maybe it, I, I, I've shared with you that I study at the American school. And at the American school, they have the American dividing system, dividing, which is different. So when I when I started studying at a regular school, dividing samples, or how to divide. No. Because I wanna, I wanna show you. I just wanna show you like, see? This is the way I learned. Oh. And in Spanish, I'm sorry, yeah, like here, it's all the Different. way around. It's like an, yeah. it's like an aha. So for me, even when I teach my kids, I tell them, okay, this is how I learn. I'm sorry if I don't show you the other one, but this is how I learn. It's easier for me to do it this way than to understand it doing it the other, even though they show them like that. Uh, and, and it was very easy for me to understand this and I'm very good at dividing, but I'm not really good at anything else that has to do with, with numbers. So I think that I wouldn't be a really good at counting. And you see how, it, how it's different when you change from one language to another, from one country to another, et cetera, because mm -hmm. things change. They might be the same process. <clears throat> I'm sorry, different process and, and the same result, but every country does it differently. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's very complex and sometimes it's very... Yeah. Right? Okay. Like I have seen also the Chinese. I don't know if you have seen that. I don't know if when you were started at school multiplying, uh, learning how to multiply, it was very difficult for you to learn uh, how to multiply with number nine, nine times one, nine times two. Mm -hmm. It was, I think, the most difficult for everybody, right? Like one was easy and five was easy. But then no, seven, the nine, eight, no. and nine was mm -hmm. quite difficult, right? I, I, I thought that uh -huh. eight, but nine, not so difficult because if you uh, memorize the, the final of all the tables, one, two, three, is the final. Is, I, I think the nine is not so difficult. The eight, yes, I, I think that is difficult. And I, and I saw this, um, I don't know if I, I don't remember where I saw it, but I saw the table of nine, number nine multiplication table restore. Oh, I think it was called, I don't know. But it was something like how they explain to you, like how Chinese explain to you how, um, how they resolve it, like say going nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then on the other row, because you have two numbers, right? Like 19, uh, I'm sorry. 18 and so on and so it goes one two three four going down and then it goes one two three four five all the way to nine going up have you noticed it yeah i have seen in in this one okay i'll show you this so if you see you go okay. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you go from here to the top eight nine eight and i'm sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine to the top is like going, mm -hmm. you go down here from one to nine. I'm like, oh my God, I never imagined that. I should have heard wow. that before knowing that, you know. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is so easy. And that's how they, that this is the way they show it to kids in China, for example. I was like, oh, that's why they're so smart because they simplify and they just make it easy for you to understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, right? Or like this one, see? The first trick and the second trick and the third trick and so on. So it's like, mm. wow, I should have learned this before mm. <laughs> to make it to make my life easier, right? Okay, next question. Hmm. I would be a very bad waiter because I like to talk a lot. Mm. What about and I forget things easily. What about you? Mm. I forget things waiter. easily. 
I have well, I have to to write things, and that's how I can remember because I'm a very visual person. Mm -hmm. But if I, if only they say something and I and I don't write it down, I forget about. It. Imagine those people take. I would be a very bad waiter at a pupusa, at a pupusa place. Yes. At a pupusa, yes. like <laughs> how many? Yeah. Beans and rice. How many beans yeah. and rice? How many beans and rice? <laughs> beans and rice? Yeah. How many beans and cheese? I would be very, you know, very bad on. If unless you write them, right? Mm -hmm. What about mm -hmm. the rest of you guys? Would you be very good waiters or very bad waiters? Mm. I don't like the that profession. <laughs> Why? I, I am because I I guess it is sometimes it's bored and well I I guess that I wouldn't be a a great waiter waitress mm -hmm. because I I can smile to a all the people <laughs> and I can stand with people that um, complain with you for the service for something that you didn't do yeah, that it. other people do <laughs> did and they blame it on you yeah no no I can stand that's true it's true we didn't talk about that previously what if you get the bad customers or the customers that scream at you or had a misfortune, something bad happened to them with their food or order, they waited so long, I don't know. I have to face them and say, you know, we really apologize. The, the cook is really busy. We've been, have, we have full house and I don't know. Uh, we yeah. excuses <laughs> on how to say, you know, ah, I want my order now and get all desperate, right? I know that would be very, very uncomfortable, I would say. Yeah. Uh -huh. What about you, Bea? Would you be a very good waitress or a bad waitress? <laughs> um, more or less, I, uh, I like uh, waitress. I, I, uh, I like, uh, I work uh, uh, with, with uh, restaurant. Uh, Restaurants. Restaurants? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, I, I, right now I, or before, Bea? Uh, restaurants or before you have worked with restaurants in the past? Before. Uh, <laughs> in, uh, before uh, coronavirus. <laughs> Ah, before coronavirus. Okay. <laughs> also, here, uh, in the press, I think I work. I'm working. <laughs> so you are a waitress. Um, no, no. Uh, I I work. Uh, uh, Recursos humanos. Ah, okay, human uh, resources. Uh -huh. In in a station, um, a training. Uh -huh. training. So you would have um, to tell the waitress and the waiters. You have to smile. You have to smile yeah. to the customers. You have to do. It's okay. very important yeah. the like attitude. Uh -huh. The attitude. Yeah. The person. Okay. It's very interesting. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Nice, thank you. Okay. Would you like to be a flight attendant? Yes or no? Would you be a good flight attendant? Yes or no? And why? Yeah. A flight attendant is um. Yeah, I like. I don't know. That's a very tricky one, right? Yes. I don't think so because you have to be very patient because there 
a kind of people maybe someone are very very gentle but others are very um, angry i don't know i think i i can i couldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't, or I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Huh? okay I wouldn't. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't be a good flight attendant because I usually get nervous with turbulence. So it's very obvious in my face if I get scared. Mm -hmm. So I need to be strong for my passengers. Mm -hmm. So I think I wouldn't be a very, I would panic if some, if there's an emergency or if something happens in inside, I don't know, inside the airplane or the aircraft. I think that, that that's in my case, right? Mm -hmm. That would be a, something that, in, my Hello. What about you? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Flight attendant, yes or no? Not good. Hello. Not for me, no. <laughs> Okay. No? What about a pilot? Let's change it to a pilot. Would you be a very good pilot? <laughs> what about pilots? Do you think you would be very good pilots? No. No. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of heights and I don't know. I wouldn't be a very good pilot. I would like to fly. I like to travel all the time. Maybe travel, yes, but not like all the time. Like knowing that that's my job and I would have to do it every day. Maybe no. In my case, what about you? I have never think about it. Never thought about it? Okay. Oh, now okay. I... Okay, great. Don't worry. Now I have a couple of other examples, same like yesterday. I'm going to show you a list. But this time you have to pick one that you would like to and one that you wouldn't like to. Different from the ones we have spoken about. So, I would like to be a vet. And I wish I could have a very big, because I wish I could, uh, uh, well, and I wish I could have a very big space to have dogs or animals. Because I like animals, for example. But I wouldn't like to, work in um i wouldn't like to work on the streets as a street vendor because it's it's very dangerous in my city or where i live for example what about you guys what would you like to be and what wouldn't you like to be i would like to be a computer programmer a computer programmer <laughs> Okay. Because okay. I am a computer programmer. <laughs> you're very good at it. Um, yeah, I okay. think. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't be a street vendor mm -hmm. because I think it, that um, that job is very difficult. You have to be understood. I don't know how uh, how much time and if you want to drink water if you want to go to the bathroom if yeah. you want to rest some some time uh -huh. I don't know it, I think it's so difficult and perhaps also your income it's not going to be the same as having a, a stable job in where you know that you're going to perceive a normal salary yeah. every month and every day has to go with like son dollars on dollars and you don't know if you're gonna be able to sell those yeah. things every day and maybe some days you're gonna make six dollars or seven dollars or eight dollars you don't know if it's going to always be a good day or a bad day right mm -hmm. yeah yes. okay anybody else <laughs> wilbur what about you what would you like to be and what wouldn't you like to be and why I would like to be maybe a computer programmer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Veterinary. A vet? Veterinary. Veterinarian. 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 
with the a is an e veterinarian. The a becomes an e veterinarian. Veterinarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But you wouldn't like to be what? Uh, maybe computer programmer. You wouldn't like to be a computer programmer, no. Yes. yes. Okay, so you have to pick uh, one that you would like to uh, and one that you wouldn't like to. Uno que sí, uno que no. Ah, okay. Uh, I would like computer programmer and I would not like uh, um, a street vendor. Okay, a street vendor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Street let's, mm -hmm. let's go with the other list. Let's check out this one. Astronaut, politician, tour guide, <laughs> Enter entrepreneur, ballet dancer, and astronaut. <laughs> Bea! What would you like to be and what wouldn't you like to be? I don't like uh, the poli politic <laughs> politician. 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 Okay. Politician. Uh, Let me write the pronunciation on the chat. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to write the, the pronunciation okay. on the chat. There you go. Politician. Politician. Yes, and the other one is onto, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. That entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Emprendedor, right? Okay. Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you would like to be a politician. Why, Bea? Um, I don't like uh, mm, politics. Yes, the, I don't like politics. <laughs> uh, and I like uh, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yes, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur. Yes, I like. I like. Uh, the new new opportunities and um, crear, uh, create create um, the new opportunities but I live uh, better yes. oh. Okay. Well, actually being an entrepreneur is like, we, I think we all are. We have all in our lives sold things like uh, lipsticks or watches or uh, jewelry or Avon or um, cell phone chargers or batteries or I don't know, we have sold something. So in a way that's like being an entrepreneur is like trying to start up your business with your friends at the office or coworkers or family members, right? Or doing cupcakes and selling them or, I don't know, we have always, I think that we all have that entrepreneur in us to have like a little side job doing things uh, in behalf of, of getting a, a, a little salary or a little extra, right? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. What about you guys, the rest of you? What would you like to be and what wouldn't you like to be from this list? I, I think I'm, uh, as Beatrice say, I would like to be an entrepreneur and I wouldn't like to be a politician. Okay. I would like to be a tour guide to, to travel uh, and get to know many places. But I would really not like to be an astronaut because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> so I wouldn't really like, oh my God, you know, I would be scared of heights. I don't know. And being, you know, flying, flying. I think that my heart would not be able to handle it because of mm. traveling or being an astronaut. 
I don't know. I think that's just a reason. Just because I'm scared of heights. I don't know. And giants, too. So it has to do with going higher. <laughs> okay. Let's go with the next list. Ooh, difficult. Minor teacher, real estate agent, bellboy, gas station attendant. <gasps> now, let's talk yeah. about... In this case, I we're going to change not which one would you like to be and which one you wouldn't like to be. For this one, I want you to tell me, which do you consider would be a, one of the best jobs and which one was a difficult job to have, okay? So you're going to tell me which one's a very good, easy going job and which one's difficult, okay? And why? Maybe the difficult is the minor. Okay, why? Because they have to work in the dark, I don't know, with his lamp on his helmet, and they have to be under the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, there can be accidents or something like happen. There's a girl in, in Chile. Mm -hmm. How minor. many of them? How many of them were? Wow. In Chile? 20. I think I don't know. Let's see. Thirty-three. Yeah. So that is uh, a dangerous job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one would you, okay, so this is like the most dangerous one from the list. Which one would be the easiest or the one of the best ones to be? Easier. I think gas station attendant. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, why do you think it's one of the easiest? <laughs> because no, not really. I don't, <laughs> they just have to uh, ask you you for you want and if you I don't know it's easy I think okay. it's easy. but is I think also that is a bad um I don't know they have a bad uh, salary mm, yeah so the Okay, maybe. Um, I also think <clears throat> that one of the most difficult jobs. Hello, are you there? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Hello. Oh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, oh, I think that difficult. also one of the most difficult jobs would be being a real estate agent because you have a deadline and you need to meet a target. So you're like under pressure and you need to sell, I don't know how many properties or houses, or you need to comply with what, they're, what, what it is that they're asking you for. And you know, to convince somebody to buy property yeah. must not be that yeah. easy, I think. I don't know. No. I think that it could be also a very difficult job to, to- Some people don't buy it every day. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Like for example, right now, I feel that people that actually sell cars or that bring cars, like import cars right now, for example, are not selling at all. They're, nobody wants to buy a car right now. Everybody wants to buy just food to survive and to be at home. But maybe they're not thinking about cars or house or buying a property right now, et cetera, right? So I think that you know, in hard times, it must be really difficult for them too. And for me, the most, the easiest perhaps would be a bellboy because they just pick up the luggage. They have a, a trolley. Remember that I showed you what a trolley was? <clears throat> it's not yes. mm -hmm. So they have a trolley and they just take it upstairs or to the rooms and that's it. Or if they're at the airport as well, and that's it. And they get a tip on top of that. They get a salary plus a tip. Not from everybody, but I mean from, right? but they get tips for doing it. Um, okay. Well, guys, whew, time's running up. Um, thank you so much for connecting. I really appreciate you guys doing it. 
please remember to tell your HR teams to enroll you for your next intermediate three. I hope to see you soon. Please be safe with your families and stay home and complete your platform, okay? If you haven't had the chance to finish it, try to complete it. I know that, uh, complete it. I know that some of you have already done it. And mm -hmm. I want you to have a nice holiday vacation because next week is holiday Yay. vacation, even though <laughs> for those of you who have to go out and work, you will have to stay home. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so where are you I spending your holiday vacation? <laughs> where, where are you spending your holy vacation? Oh, in the living room, in the bedroom. Mm, yeah. <laughs> in right? the backyard. So, in the backyard, the front yard. So, <laughs> uh, so I hope to see you after that in Intermediate 3. Thank you so much for being amazing students, okay? Thanks oh. to you. Thank you. Thank you to your teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank You're you. so welcome. Thank you very You're much. So welcome. I have fun with you guys, really. For me, this is more than a job. It's like really, it's really fun to actually be able to show you a little bit of the language in a different perspective to try to make it fun for you not to feel the hour, right? Yes. So, so I hope yeah, you have learned a little you. bit from me, okay? And I will no, see you hopefully in Intermediate much. 3, okay? Yeah, thank okay, you very bye, much. Guys. Bye, bye. Love. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.